We are making a new outfit for Adrian Adams. Everyone is invited to Mal and Ben's wedding, but some do not have outfits to wear for the occasion. In the last video, we gave her the blouse and the outer jacket. In this video, we are going to finish the skirt. She's wearing a slim long A-line skirt. The theme for her outfit is the late 19th to early 20th century. And by this time, women were giving up on puffy dresses and the skirts are becoming more slender. Adrian Adams is a chemist and a physicist. I thought Madame Curie would be a good inspiration and the time period that she lived in, the late 19th and 20th century, is the time period I have chosen. Adrian loves pink. I have chosen pale pink and bright crimson, but they look almost white and red in the camera. Pink and crimson don't seem like the color that people of this time period wore often, but since Adrian loves this color, pink is the color we will go with. I started by cutting long strips of crimson fabric, and then I cut a large rectangular piece of pale pink fabric. Basically, I folded the pale pink fabric and then glued the crimson strip on each folded section. And then I outlined the side of the skirt with a long black fabric. I don't have any scraps of black fabric that's long enough to outline the entire length of the skirt, so I used the gray and black striped fabric and then just used the black part of the fabric only. And I made another piece that looks exactly alike. One becomes the front part of the skirt and the other one becomes the back part of the skirt. I sew the pieces together to form the basic shape of the skirt. Now by this time I made too many folds and glued too many layers of fabric together that the skirt is very bulky. So I tried to cut out any unnecessary part of the skirt. I sewed unnecessary layers together so the skirt will hold together and then cut off any folds in the skirt. Next, we need something to line the waist. If the skirt is a separate piece of clothing from the top, it seems like they had some kind of a sash that held the skirt to the waist. This waistband could be either a straight strip or this kind of a triangular round shape. So we're going to make this triangular waistband. It has to be subtle. Because eventually this waistband is about to be replaced with a belt about a decade or two later. In hindsight, it might have been easier to sew this if I didn't close the skirt already. But, oh well, I already sewed the skirt together and now I have a hard time reaching into the inside of the skirt. Anyway. Well, after I have sewed the waistband, I cut off any overlapping part of the dress so we don't add any more bulk to the skirt. And then I also cut off the length of the skirt so the skirt ends right at her feet. So now we have the basic design of her outfit, but it's time to decorate and accessorize. Now, one of the common designs that I saw often from the dresses of this time period is the use of laces and embroidery. They really seem to love laces, ribbons, flowers, and embroidery. I contemplated whether I actually want to do hand embroidery and then I thought against it. I'm just going to paint the design onto the skirt. So I painted a vine with some leaves, but imagine that these are stitched onto the skirt. 
Now, lace and hand embroidery is no longer considered the symbol of luxury in our times. But in those days, not everyone could afford lace, ribbons, and hand embroidered skirt. Everything was done by hand. So having even just a little bit of lace and embroidery on your dress meant you are rich. You were able to afford someone to stitch all those things by hand. I can't even imagine how much work has to go into stitching even like a few inches of lace by hand. Next, we still need to get her a hat and a parasol umbrella, which will be worked on in the next video.